Tommy Tune. Thomas James, Tommy, Tune is an American actor, dancer, singer, theater director, producer, and choreographer. Over the course of his career, he has won 10 Tony Awards and the National Medal of Arts. Early Years Tune was born in Wichita Falls, Texas, to oil rig worker, Jules Trainer, and restaurateur Jim Tune and Eva May Clark. He attended Lamar High School in Houston, and the Methodist-affiliated Lon Morris College in Jacksonville, Texas. He studied dance under Patsy Swayze in Houston. He also studied dance with Kit Andre in Boulder, Colorado. He went on to earn his Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama from the University of Texas at Austin in 1962 and his Master of Fine Arts in Directing from the University of Houston. Tune later moved to New York to start his career. Career In 1965, Tune made his Broadway debut as a performer in the musical Baker Street. His first Broadway directing and choreography credits were for the original production of The Best Little Ho House in Texas in 1978, his direction of Nine the Musical in 1982, which also won the Tony for Best Musical garnered him his first Tony for direction of a musical. LHE has gone on to direct and or choreograph eight Broadway musicals. He directed a new musical titled Turn of the Century, which premiered at the Goodman Theatre in Chicago on September 19, 2008 and closed on November 2, 2008. Off-Broadway, Tune has directed The Club and Cloud Nine. Tune toured the United States in the Sherman Brothers musical Busker Alley in 1994 1995, and in the stage adaptation of the film Dr. Doolittle in 2006. Tune is the only person to win Tony Awards in the same categories in consecutive years, and the first to win in four categories. He has won 10 Tony Awards, including a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2015. On television, Tune was a recurring guest star and assistant choreographer from 1969-70 on The Dean Martin Show and its summer replacement series, Dean Martin Presents the Gold Diggers. He also briefly appeared on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood in 1988. Tune appeared in a 1975 TV special titled Welcome to the World, along with Lucy Arnaz and Lyle Wagoner to promote the opening of Space Mountain at Walt Disney World. Tune's film credits include Ambrose in Hello, Dolly, and The Boyfriend with Twiggy. Tune released his first record album, Slow Dancin', in 1997 on the RCA label, featuring a collection of his favorite romantic ballads. In 1999, he made his Las Vegas debut as the star of EFX at the MGM Grand Las Vegas. Tune staged an elaborate musical entitled Paparazzi for the Holland America Line cruise ship the Oosterdam in 2003. He works often with the Manhattan Rhythm Kings, for example touring in a big band review entitled Song and Dance Man and White Tie and Tails. Tune performed in his musical review, Steps in Time, a Broadway biography in Song and Dance, in Boston in April 2008, and continuing in various venues from Bethesda. Maryland in January 2009 to California in February 2009. The Tommy Tune Awards, presented annually by Theatre Under the Stars, honor excellence in high school musical theater in Houston. The current home of the Tommy Tune Awards is the Hobby Center for the Performing Arts in Houston, Texas. In 2013, he appeared as Argyle Ostero in the revived fourth season of Arrested Development on Netflix. In 2015, he made a return to the New York stage as a featured performer in City Center's popular series, Encores. He was featured in two numbers in Lady, Be Good. His first act number was the Gershwin standard, Fascinating, Rhythm. 
personal life. When not performing, he used to run an art gallery in Tribeca that featured his own work. As of 2014 it is no longer open. In Tunes 1997, memoir footnotes, he writes about what drives him as a performer, choreographer, and director. Offers stories about being openly gay in the world of theater, his partners David Wolfe and Michael Stewart, his days with Twiggy in My One and Only, and meeting and working with his many idols, before leaving Texas in the 1960s for a Broadway career in New York. Tune worked with Mary Highsmith, mother of crime novelist Patricia Highsmith, at the Point Summer Theatre. In a letter to her daughter, Highsmith referred to Tune as her adopted boy whom she called Romano. Tune later praised Highsmith for helping him develop his talents. She was an opening for me. She opened a little bit of my tight fabric so that I might peer through. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.